Hi, Wendy. Maybe you're there. Anyway, um, I, I'm Jeannie Ralston as, uh, you know, Patty and Carolyn sure know that. Beth, maybe you know it. Wendy, I'm not sure if you know it. But anyway, um, so we're, yeah, we're doing this great trip to Charleston. It'll be the third year. And um, I, I know Charleston really well because I went to school in South Carolina and I've written about it for the New York Times, 36 hours in Charleston. I'm, I've been you know going there forever and ever. And um, I, it's one of the first trips I did, I planned uh, in, the, in the US, it was the first trip I planned in the US because I just, Charleston is just extraordinary. And I'm lucky to know a lot of people there. And so I can, you know, like I, one of my sorority sisters owns this great hotel and restaurant that, that we're going to. And um, then I have a great friend who lives on Sullivan's Island, has this beautiful, this is the back, this is her, behind me is a view of her, her dock on the waterway. So um, I just, I wanted to, to, have a little session for people who would be interested in, in going to the trip and to hear from people, women who've been on the trip. So it's, you don't hear it just for me. Um, and there, was, there are a few other people who might join who've been on, on the trips, but Patty, do you wanna just tell them your experience on the, on the trip? Sure. So um, I actually am the one who found the trip. I, and I at the time, so, we were scheduled pre-pandemic. Oh, that's right. Yes, right. You were. And that got canceled. But right before the pandemic, I actually became single. And I was like, I really need a trip. So I started, I forget how I found you. I think it was on Facebook. Hmm. Um, but I was looking around for trips that's, that seemed interesting. I love to travel. And uh, I found this trip. And like you, Beth, I had been to Charleston before, but not really in depth. And what I really liked about it was you could see that Jeannie had connections there. Like it wasn't just going to the touristy places. It was actually going to someone's home. It was um, meeting a author from there. It was... Um, you know, curated meals that you knew were like the place to go for brunch and the place to go uh, for cocktails. So that was really something I was looking for. And my sister and I have been traveling a, a bit together for years. So, you know, naturally called her and see if she wanted to come. And she said, yes. <laughs> and uh, we had a great time. We met um, I forget how many women that there were, That's probably weird. about 12, a dozen. 11 or 12, 11 or yeah, 12. It was like a dozen. And I don't know, Jeannie, if you saw, but Tammy, who was with the group from Austin, yeah. I just ran into her in Cape Town, South Africa last month. Oh, wait, I did hear that. And I think it's when I was sick and it didn't pierce my brain, but oh my God. I went God. into for breakfast and she was sitting there with, I can't remember the other woman's name. They were both on the trip with us. And I was like, holy moly. I think it was, was it Beth? Maybe, I can't remember, but uh, they were there with their families and it was oh just my crazy. It's such a small wow. world. Well, that uh, yeah, and and uh, yeah, you you never know where you're going to meet one of your fr new friends from from a next tribe trip. But um, and and so one thing that I I really appreciated about this trip, it was short. It's short, but it was really we didn't waste any time laugh starting to laugh and be like like we were like sorority sisters or something <laughs> long lost sorority sisters and um re remember there was, there was a lot of laughing there was a lot of drinking there was a <laughs> lot of singing remember in the uh, in the limo we put on oh, the music band, we were dancing yeah. and singing in the car oh, uh we all hit it off it was, it was a really fun, fun group of women yeah i have to say uh, uh, our groups are they they tend to be really, really fun because, and, and does people bond so quickly. And I think it's because if you're, 
you know, if you're at this age and you're, you know, reaching out, you want to go out and travel and you, you like what Next Tribe is doing and stuff, you're kind of like already kind of guaranteed to have something in common. So, and uh, what we all had in common, we love to dance. And, and we have, remember the last night we went to a Gullah chef's house. I mean, this well-known Gullah, you know, Gullah cooking is a certain kind of cooking from the, from the, um, the low country. And uh, they just put music on. <laughs> we yeah, were dancing at her house too, remember? We were dancing to Marvin Gaye. Yeah, yeah. We, dance, we dance everywhere. Everywhere we went, we were dancing. So started uh, out more formal, and then by the end, we were like just fast friends. I'm ready. <laughs> it, it is. Um, it, it's it's pretty extraordinary. I have a a few pic. I just put together a few pictures. If um, I'm going to show, oh, I've got to find them now. <laughs> so, but um, hold on a second. I'll find them and then I'll share them. But I put together just so we can uh, talk about them because they're it's they're pretty. Um, I don't know how this works. Okay, here we go. Um, and I will share the screen, and you'll get to see some of what we we did. Um, just give me a moment. I'll share the screen. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so. Here's like we we took this great walking tour, and it's and the the great thing about the walking tour is this woman is led by two sisters our age, and talk they know everyone. And last year they invited us. I didn't know if you knew this, uh, Carolyn and Patty. We were already at dinner, but she texted me and was like, "Do you guys want to come over for a drink?" So this year I'm going to just arrange it. So we build that in that we go over to her house because she's the. Per She's lived here forever and, and uh, she was really funny. You know, I love funny and it's entertaining um, to go out with people like that. Oh, I mean, she makes it really fun. I don't know why this isn't, I don't know how to do it. This is, um, this is not a good slide. Meeting <laughs> people. I mean, we, you know, we see basket, the, the make the low country baskets, which is really cool. Um, we, this is, this is our, this is our tour guide. Teresa is her name. And Everywhere we went, somebody would drive by and honk at her. She knew everybody. I know she it was, it was great. And then we went to um, this hotel, the Wentworth hotel. I actually should have had a picture of it, but I don't, but this woman right here that on the, on the, I'm circling. She was my sorority sister in, um, in college and she and her husband owned some of the nicest hotels and they met us with champagne and took us on a tour of the, the mansion. And um, uh, this is the, up on the rooftop, there was a storm coming in, but you, know, you can see the, the big bridge. So we really got a good look at, at that. And then here we are, you know, we, we have already, it looks like fewer people, but maybe I didn't get some people. But um, this is our van, we're, and we get we we start we go to a plantation, and I don't necessarily, you know, plantations can be um, uh, problematic. But the reason I like this plantation is that first of all the beautiful trees, and the and the main focus is the Boone Hall plantation is on the life of the slaves. So you it's not grant uh, you know it's not aggrandizing the whole system. It's talking about how these people lived, and um, it's that's what's worth it, and the presentation they have on the the culture of, of the Low Country. So, and then we went to my friend's house. We have a uh, we have have lunch on her patio overlooking the Intercoastal Waterway, and we had an author, and we we all got to know her and hear her speak about her writing, which is all focused on the Low Country. And then uh, on that fancy cake, <laughs> on that fancy cake, like, the, and then we take, which is one of my favorite things to do. We take a, a boat out on in the afternoon. We take a boat out into the um, on the waterway, and we have on go to an uh, an uninhabited island and have a beach beach dinner on this island. They make the the meal for us. We go out and walk around 
and he's making the meal. It's a traditional low country boil and uh, it's just fabulous. And this is just, you know, kind of the stuff that the driftwood and beautiful, beautiful beach. Um, and it's still spring. So it's not, you know, it's not, we don't sit out in the sand. Oh, this is from another year. This is a group from the other year since we've done it twice. Um, but that's one of, it's my favorite. It's probably my favorite thing is to go out because you're, um, here's, here's the dinner. Like he's making a traditional low country boil. And um, it's just one of my favorite things to eat that on the beach or, and you're just, just in the most beautiful nature. And um, this is, this is a great picture of just kind of the, mm. This, we're out there at sunset and then we go back at sunset and um then the next on sunday we go for a brunch at, it's a gospel brunch and it's called hall's chop house and, and i wrote about it in the new york times like the place for brunch and it was just it was fabulous and then uh we went uh, that's when we went to the um to meet this drove out and met this chef who she's well known she used to have a restaurant she has a cookbook and we went to her house and had this fabulous meal and then then we we just played and danced as we said um like this you can tell <laughs> <laughs> it was just uh it's just a great time and uh, then the, on the next day we do we had a shopping trip this was from the the other time we went it was a shopping tour and people have a, have a little champagne for us and some discounts. And, um, and then you can spend the, you know, on Monday after the shopping tour, you can spend the day going back to places you like and, and so forth. So it's, it's pretty quick, uh, but that's, that's a really good thing because um, a lot of, you know, it's, it's, it's concise and you can get away quickly. It's a you know, Friday through Monday. And, um, and what I like to say is that, you know, we do these big trips overseas, you know, in Europe, in South America, Mexico, but if you like that, this is a great way to kind of understand how Next Tribe trips work. And um, so like a, a lot of people, a couple of people who were on that, you saw on those, in those pictures, that was their first trip in Charleston. And then one of the women, in there she she ended up going on the inca trail hike with me with next tribe in october so she like you know she understood okay this is a fun trip and and Jeannie's not completely crazy uh just a little bit and so then just enough to be fun i think uh i try that to be that way and so um so it's a good time to just uh, get used to traveling with us and find out what it's all about and the other thing i i really want to emphasize is I call this group small group it's always a small group small group travel for people who don't like group travel because to be honest I don't I don't really do a lot of group travel on my, if on my own time I wouldn't it wouldn't be the first thing I chose before but and for that informs how I put these tri this trip together so it's not like we're not on a bus and and with you know me waving a flag it's more like there's a lot of freedom in in the in the uh, schedule because it's a, um, you know, I just like your grown up women. And if you like some, like last year, somebody had wanted to sleep late on Saturday. So we just said, um, okay, you know, she took a cab and met us up, met us somewhere. So it's, there's, there's flexibility. You don't have to do everything that everybody else is doing. So um, I just wanted to make sure, cause a lot of, a lot of people are like group travel. Uh. But no, this is like the the kind of group travel that that allows you to uh, treat you like a real person instead of <laughs> like a child. You are not a child. We know that. Um, and there were some, you know, there people just did the, at night. Sometimes they did their own. I wanted to just show you some. Um, I have a cute picture of. Remember, oh, this this picture. I, you, I don't know if you, I don't think you got, oh, there you go, know, Patty's there. What I was going to say, I don't know if you guys did this, but there was tequila. Uh, I was going to say, is that us doing shots in the Yeah, lobby? I thought that's so funny. You guys were like, uh, you were so funny about 
um, now I can't get back to to my um, yeah. What was that? The hotel gave us free bottles or something. I can't remember. Yeah, they, I can't get find you guys. Um, wait a second. That's so funny. Okay, here. This is um, here. I'll show you this this picture because I just think it's hilarious that um, at <laughs> night they, <laughs> you guys are like. I think okay. I took that picture. <laughs> Oh, you was, I wasn't even there. I, you know, I, was, I think I took it. I wasn't drinking. Um, yeah, but this is these are some of the the, <laughs> the wild child children from our group uh, having a late night. Or yes, you're right. I think they did give us some some one of the thing cocktail special cocktails. It was yeah. a nice hotel too. The hotel yeah. was very nice. Yeah, and in the back you can see they they had port for us at night. Oh yeah, they did have. That's right. They had. But we food. thought shots of tequila was more. <laughs> yes, and, and we were in keeping. So, <laughs> anyway, do you have uh, questions, Beth or Wendy? Uh, of course, I, I just want to say I'm sorry for chiming in late. Um, oh, no, I, have no. a, I have a wonky microphone, so I had to go and get my, um, you know, a real microphone because the one that's in my computer doesn't work too well. Right. So, and I'm not on the camera because I'm in my bathroom to get away from my barking dog. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I, we understand. We understand. So, um, where are you, Wendy? Manhattan. Oh, you, good. yeah. Well, I am too. Have I met you here? I don't think so. I've not attended any of your functions. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, um, you know, it's a it's an easy flight from New York or New Jersey. It's best in New Jersey. And so is uh, you weren't here, but uh, Carolyn and uh, Patty are also. They were. They went last year, mm -hmm. and um, I don't know if you heard them talk. But um, so it's an easy flight from yeah, you know, yeah, and which is makes it really nice. Okay. And so, um, do do you uh, do you guys have any questions about the trip or how it's how it's laid out or anything like that? So obviously we all book our own flights, but is there like, so you'll tell us like, you know, a specific time to, you know, or a, yes. a time frame to arrive and depart, yes. you know, that yes. kind of thing. A time frame okay. to arrive. And then, you know, so we meet in the hotel and then we, we go on our walking tour and, and I want to build in time for us to have this time. I've already, I've, I'm in touch with her and, and the, the, our tour guide because wouldn't that be great? I mean, she lives in one of those old, old Charleston houses. And and if, I don't know, if, uh, you said you've been there before, Beth, but, uh, you know, just one of those grand houses uh, in, in the lower part of the peninsula. And um, so I'd like to go and get have a drink with her afterwards. Then we go to um, the hotel, the, not our hotel, but the very beautiful Wentworth Mansion and uh, we get champagne, we get a tour of the hotel up on the rooftop, then we have dinner, and the, the, the restaurant is um, the, associated with the hotel, it's called Circa 1886. I, I think, I hope this is on the itinerary that I put up, up. and so we, then we have dinner there, we have our own room, and um, it was just, it's a great, we just got to have so much fun getting to know each other. And then we walk back to our hotel. And then the next day we do the plantation. We we learn about gullet culture. We go to to my friend's house in off of Sullivan's Island and have an author speak. Then we go do the the um, the trip to uh, on the boat trip. And then we get back, you know, uh, early enough that, that we could. I I I don't know if that was the day we were doing the shots or. Or, or one day we went out to a bar afterwards, um, you know, a rooftop bar, a lot of rooftop bars in Charleston. And then on Sundays, I think you, Patty and Carolyn went, we went all together and walked, looked at that. That was kind of not, you didn't have to do it or it wasn't like, you don't have to do anything on the trip, but uh, we went to the Magnolia um, um, cemetery. cemetery. Yeah, I went with you. Yeah, which was real. did you go Patty? I did not. Okay, it was I really good. Why? Maybe because I was doing shots the night. I was gonna say you're, <laughs> you're off. And and then we go to uh, then we go to brunch, and then we go uh, we have some free time, and then we went we go to the uh, the chef's house. It's a little bit of a drive, 
And, you know, we, we get back from that re relatively early. So there's time to go out after, after that. And then on, on Monday, we do our, you know, start our shopping tour. And then you have some time because I, what I find is that people like some of their own free time to, you know, to go back and check out something they saw along the way. And I don't want to be so regimented that you don't have time for that. Um, so, and what about you, Wendy? Have you been before? No, I haven't. So I'm really interested in checking it out. And I'm trying to corral a couple of girlfriends to come with me. Um, one of whom, his, her son actually went to the College of Charleston. Oh. So she's kind of familiar with the city, but I don't think she's seen it like you present it. So yeah, yeah. Be interested. Well, we, I try to, I like to, you know, do the his, do some history uh, and then, you know, some culture with the writers. And I want to always make sure that we um, do something with the local, you know, the um, African American culture there because it's so easy to, for us to overlook that. And I think it's really important. And so it makes it, it adds just a layer of richness there um, because it's at the, it's at the base of, you know, of everything that, you know, for better and worse, you know, for obviously. Uh, so we can't, I think it's not fair to ignore it. And so fun. I mean, those women, that chef, the gullah chef and her daughter and her sister, just, just so beautiful and generous. And, you know, an experience that you wouldn't, you could go to a really fancy uh, restaurant. And when we do, and we do, do go to a couple of nice, really nice restaurants, but I also want to show you different, you know, the traditional beach boil, um, you know, and then the Gullah cuisine. I just think it's it's fabulous to see the other, uh, you know, other realm. I mean, Charleston is known as the foodie town, and yeah, they can you can spend all your every meal at some great restaurant. But how fun is it to go to where, you know, to just the roots of some of of that food that they serve in the in the hotel, I mean, in the, in the big restaurant. So that's my feeling. <laughs> no, it's, it's very appealing. I just have one question not to present myself as a problem child right off the bat, but if I have like dietary restrictions, I, mean, I don't know what's in the gullible oil. I don't know what's in. No problem. I, I, you, uh, I'm, I would be surprised if you had an, as many as we, we had somebody on the trip last year, Kelly, remember, uh, and she, she had a lot of dietary restrictions yeah. we were able to to work with her no oh, problem great yeah so um well i um you know get get some it's a great girlfriend girlfriend place you know good girlfriend town it's known for that for that and um you know our my job really is to make sure everybody has a great time that's my job <laughs> and so you do it well <laughs> It's like, okay, job one, must have fun. <laughs> okay, after that, let's see some sights. But one, number one always is have fun, enjoy, and just, you know, just enjoy the great company of some fabulous women. I mean, every trip we have that just, you know, so many interesting women from different parts of the country or from New Jersey and New York. So this might be a trip that's like mostly- Most interesting parts of the country. Yeah, <laughs> what, yeah exactly, exactly. So I can say that now, I can say that now that I'm a New Yorker um, myself. So anyway, well, um, stay in touch. You, you uh, both Wendy and Beth, you have my email mm -hmm. and I'm the ones who didn't, I mean, we had 20 people sign up, so I don't you know, know what happened, but I'm going to send a link to this for anybody who, uh, who has signed up and didn't come if they want to watch uh, my terrible slideshow. Um, they can see that, and um, but but just anytime you have a question, and and uh, Carolyn and and Patty, if, if they have a question, they don't want to ask me because I, they're afraid I'm biased. If they maybe they can get in touch with you. Yeah, absolutely. Do you want? Is there a deadline to when we have to? Well, meet? I want. Yes, I want to. Let's see. It's such. It's in. It's in March, so I want to have this. Um, by the middle of January, and you know, I have I have about four four to five spaces left. I mean, we have, have we have some nice signups, but you know, I I can take twelve, 
And, um, you know, I like to, I usually keep, keep it, we hardly ever go over 14, 14 people on any trip I do. But, um, but this one, I think even 12 is, is a good number. So, um, but, but please just, you know, keep me posted if you have questions and I'm happy to answer them. Okay, thank you. Okay, and be, be in touch and Patty and uh, Carolyn, thank you so much for, for telling us, uh, telling everyone about your, your experience. And it's good to see you again. So we should do it. We should get yeah. together. Yes. And don't see happy a happy holidays. Yeah. After the holidays. So happy holidays, everyone. <laughs> you Jeannie, well. I have nice one quick question. question. Oh, yeah. Yes. I have yeah. one quick question. Un well, sort of unrelated. Um, forgive me. If, did you already do one of these for the Scotland trip? No, about, I, I, we just published a Scotland trip. Okay. So I'll do, are you interested in that? So it piques my interest, but I'm trying to figure out how to get myself in shape to ride 30 to 40 miles a day. Hi, you're on an e-bike. <laughs> it sounds amazing, amazing, it is, amazing. It is so amazing. You are on an e-bike. So that means you have pedal assist the whole way. I, okay. it's, right. I, did it, I did it without an e-bike and there were some terrible, you know, so yeah, but you also hike the Inca Trail, so, you know. But, but I'm saying, but, but I put it and make sure that, you know, I just want you to know that with the e-bike, um, it really does, it makes all the difference. You can, okay. you know, it's like, oh, what hill? I don't care about you hill. You're like, that's how you feel. You're just like, okay. I don't care. I, I used the e-bike for the first time in, up, when I was up in, um, up in Leadville, Colorado last summer, and it's like 11,000 feet. And so you don't want to, I did not want to ride a regular bike up there. So I used this, this e-bike and I was just like, doodly, doodly, doodly. I mean, I mean, you still are getting some, you know, you're getting a little exercise, right. but, but you are, it, okay. it, it, it's just makes it so it's not so everything is not so daunting. You don't care. You, you see a hill coming and you're like, bring it on. <laughs> so I imagine there's a small learning curve to use the bike. It's just a question, like a gear kind of thing. Like about this, this. Okay. Um, Okay, yeah. <laughs> that one really, oh my God. I've been wanting to go to Ireland. I keep for like, I don't know. How, and when this popped up, although it's not Ireland, it just like spoke to me. Well, yeah. good. Well, I will, I think probably uh, sometime in January, probably towards the end okay. of January. Because awesome. I've, I've got other trips. I'm, um, uh, I'm just, well, you guys don't need it, but I'm putting together a fabulous trip in downtown New York for people to come from all over because um, it's, I'm just finishing that. So um, it just takes, you know, we, you have to do all the pricing yeah. and all that and get negotiating with the hotels. Like, come on, give me a break. Blah, blah, blah. So mm -hmm. that's what, that's where I am right now. I'm all right. Thank you. I didn't mean to extend the time there, but I was just curious on that one. Well, thank I'll you very sure, much. I'll make sure you know about it. Thank you. Okay. Thanks a so pleasure much. to meet everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.